just following a ramp, Peter Bell. A rejuvenated Brisbane handed out a walloping to the Dockers when they made the arduous road trip to the Gabba in round nine. Fremantle was well served by wide roaming centre half forward Matthew Pavlich, who kicked two goals, and Peter Bell, Heath Black, Sean McManus, and Brett Peake in the midfield. Punch. Kick the goal, Straight Black. into the hands of Black. He goes to the hot spot at the top. Pavlich had a fly at it, he'll kick the goal anyway. Oh, Ackermanus has gone over to Josh Carr and given him a push around. Now. Tim and Josh won't like that. Matty Carr steps through. Very well done. Long forward. Pavlich. The goal number two for the Super Pav. And it's there. Gets it to Dodd. He can hand off to Pavlich. Running the lines. Goes and a big grab taken by Hazelby. He's got a lot of knowledge in that head of his. Hasn't been a massive afternoon for Paul Hazelby. And I reckon he's just snuck it in. Yep. He has. Shrug the attempted tackle. Goes to Pavlich. He's too far out to score. Just pokes it towards full forward. Longmuir. He's got one. This is possession number 11. And it's a beautiful kick. Fixter to power. The look away handball. Didn't work. Black can pump it in long. He can pump it in very long. He can kick a beautiful running goal. Well, it's a combination of, you know, winning the ball firstly, and I think that was most disappointing. Uh, controlling the ball under physical pressure, uh, but also, you know, our run through the midfield wasn't there to give our forwards, you know, kind of access to quick ball movement. So, but, you know, it gets back to attack on the ball and it uh, becomes infectious in a negative way um, on other aspects of your game. Pavlich, Bell and McManus, the best in a 68-point loss. Just had a little bit there behind I think the line. It's got, I think it doesn't have to be totally behind the line, one foot at least. There's a goal! Forget about that, it's a goal!